Okay, everyone, so you can see here we have a remote and it's working for the most part, but wait a minute, the power button is not working. All the rest of the buttons seem to work fine, but this power button is just not working. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take apart the remote. Now they all come apart about the same way. It's good to use plastic to take them apart if you can, like this little blue plastic tool. I'll put a link in the description. Sometimes they're just not strong enough and you gotta use a screwdriver, like a steel screwdriver, but beware, when you're using a screwdriver, just make sure that you don't uh, you know, mar it all up because the steel is strong on a screwdriver. So it's best to use plastic, but if you gotta use screwdriver, that's fine. So once you have it apart, you can see here now, two sides are apart. I have the secret weapon and that is a pencil right here. Now the important thing is to make sure you clean the eraser. So the eraser on the pencil has to be clean and if I show you here you can see there's the power button. Now when I put them together and pull it apart you can see this one right here. I'll throw up a little arrow there. That one we should focus cleaning but however you know while we have it apart it's just as easy. You know what? We should clean them all. So I like to clean the whole um, the whole remote control because you just never know which one is going to stop working next. Uh, but the power button uses uh, gets used a lot. So the power button is the first one on most remotes to fail. And most people just throw them out. And really, you shouldn't because this is all you have to do to clean it. So you just use the eraser, but you don't want to go too hard on it uh, because the eraser is a little bit abrasive. And you can see there the black on the eraser. And then what I do is I just rub it and just clean it off and then just do it repeat. There you go. You can see there's the clean part that I just uh, rubbed off. So now watch, I'll show you. I'll just clean these ones right here and then I'll show you the eraser after I rub these and you'll be able to see the eraser just turns black. So it just takes all of this, I don't know, it's not corrosion. I don't want to use that word, but I don't know what it is that comes off it, but it, it works like a charm. Now the great thing about doing this it's actually great for cars, for the push buttons in the cars that control like your vents, your heater vents, all of that kind of stuff. And there you go, look at the eraser, look how dark it is, look how dirty it is. So that's just crazy. But anyway, this is a really cool trick that I used. So now it takes a while and you wanna make sure that you do the whole circuit board. And then next, what we're gonna do is the backing for the, uh, the push buttons, the rubber backing, I'll show you that. So now let's take a look at the back. You can see here's the actual power button, the one that wasn't working. And if we sort of peel it back a bit in here, you can see this little black dot. That's the pad that contacts the circuit board. So we're gonna to wanna to clean that a little bit, but don't get too aggressive with it because the problem with that is uh, I think you can damage them quite easy because it's very, very thin. And once that's done, all you gotta basically do is line it all up and then just snap it back together and away we go. Then what we'll do is we'll put the batteries back in and just do a quick test. Okay, so once your batteries are back in, let's walk over to the TV, press our power button, and there you go. You can see it actually turned on, it is blue. So that is awesome. Uh, the TV just turned on. Let's try it again, nice little test. Push our power button, and there you go. You can see it is blue again. So our remote works, that's how easy it is. So here you can see I'm doing another one. I don't wanna keep you. Uh, this weekend, I actually did two of them. I find that they usually last a few years and then the power button stops working because that's the most common button that's pressed on the remote all the time. And this one in particular, you can see there's some water there. I actually washed these white, uh, I don't know, rubber keypads just because this one was a little bit more dirty. But other than that, that's it for the video. I just wanted to share this out because you know what? Uh, too many people, I think, maybe throw out the remotes or wind up just uh, disposing of stuff when you really don't have to. So anyway, that's it for uh, my video. Any questions, comments, anything like that, leave them below. Over and out, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, everyone.